Okay, so uh, similarly, how do we calculate it? How many number of storage servers are required? Right. So in this case, first we estimate that what is the total data size that is required. So uh, we will see uh, an exercise that how do we calculate this um, that total data size requirement. So for, so once you have identified the total data size requirement. You divide it by hundred ter terabyte because we have we know from the previous slide that hundred terabyte is the disk size of a commodity server, right? And we divide it by seventy percent. Then why seventy percent? Because seventy percent is ideally the maximum disk size that we should fill. Once we go above seventy percent. Like eighty percent or ninety percent. So, if we have filled disk to that capacity, then the reads and writes they start slowing down. Um, so, because uh, the seek time start increasing. How many bytes should we have for ID variables? Some kind kind of identifier variables. And this is a question that comes very often to our mind when we are when we are doing the schema design <clears throat> so let's say uh, you are you are finding that how many users would be there on your system uh, so let's say you are designing Instagram and you have to identify, you have identified that you are going to have a user's table and that user's table has to have a primary key, the user ID. So in this, in, so in such case, you, uh, we, you can start with the assumption that, okay, let's say there are 100 million users in one year. Then, uh, then uh, if you look at uh, next five years, right, you can say that okay, these hundred million users are going to increase to one billion users. So that means we need a number which is good for counting one more than one billion users. Right. And if we remember this uh, power table, right, so one billion corresponds to Two to the power thirty. So the thirty here is the thirty bits. So that means thirty bits are enough to count up to one billion. So if I have a thirty-two bit number, then it should be good enough for four billion users. Okay. Now, for counting big numbers like tweet ID. Now, in this case, you need to have a counter which is going to help you to count some huge, really huge numbers. Right. So, if we uh, look at the power table, right? So, the 50, 2 to the power 50, this, so that means if I can have 50, uh, if I can have 40 bits, this is like 1 trillion. Right. So, that means I can store 1 trillion tweets. But the kind of crazy pace that um, we uh, the tweets are going on, right? it seems very logical that one trillion is going to be a small number. Right? So if we can have fifty bit number, then it can count up to one thousand trillion. So one thousand trillion seems like a good number. Right? And if we uh, look in the uh, reality, so Twitter uses a 64-bit number. 64-bit number just makes them future proof. So yeah, so in the interview, you can, uh, instead of directly saying that, okay, I'm going to use a 64-bit number. If you can uh, very quickly reference this that uh, to the interviewer that, okay, uh, if I can have a 50-bit number, then it gives me the capability to store 1000 trillion tweets 
and uh, yeah and then if i go to 64 bits then it makes me future proof then okay i'll go with 64 bit number here. want to become a software engineer at google you can like thousands of our students you just need to learn from those who've already cleared fang interviews at interview kickstart our interview prep courses are developed and taught live by 150 plus instructors from tier one companies like google and facebook our courses are tailored to help you crack software engineering domain interviews, including back-end, full-stack, machine learning, embedded systems, data science, and more. To learn more, book your free webinar slot today 